Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today, we're talking about being hurt in relationships. We're talking about mental, emotional, psychological, verbal abuse. We're not talking about physical because social media platforms aren't too friendly to what I believe should happen when you get physically abusive. So we're not going to talk about that for obvious reasons. I think that answered your question. So when you get hurt in a relationship, there's multiple things you can do. One thing you can do is stay. I'm actually writing on this board, even though I'm not going to show it to you because the word is going to come out backwards. Anyway, you can stay. If it's something you can work out and something you can fix, it might have been something small enough or it might just it might not have been that deep, but it hurt. You can figure it out. However, a lot of times I don't understand this method because people be doing some wild stuff and you just be letting it slide like it's nothing. This is a level of love and tomfoolery I have never reached and don't plan on. The fact that somebody can do you wrong and 30 seconds later, you looking at yourself like they the victim is nuts. Because if we keeping it real, a lot of times in this lane, it's just you seeing things how you want to see them and then pushing the truth to the side like it's not even really there. Like, I understand I did everything right and you still slept with my relative, but this is my fault, so I'ma fix it. I'm sorry, like what the hell? Now, a lot of times this mistakenly gets called manipulation, but that doesn't always fit the scenario. If I trick you into believing me, that is manipulation. But if you know I'm lying, you call me a liar, I admit to lying and you roll with it anyway, that's not manipulation, that's just you being boo-boo the fucking fool. Next on the list is you can stay and try to hurt them back. I kind of get this one because you just want to make them feel how you felt. But here's the problem. Consider the fact that they was willing to do what they did to you when you weren't willing to do it to them. You see, one person cares and the other person doesn't. It's like getting punched in the face so you punch the other person back in the foot. It's not anywhere near equal unless you find the right spot to hit them in. But then again, that takes so much energy and effort and you still going to be mad afterwards. So it's not really going to make a difference. And then a lot a lot of people end up still going back to the person and you just go into this toxic cycle. We're going to come back to that another time. Just, yeah, don't, don't do that either. Now, your third option when hurt in a relationship is to leave. All right, put your tomatoes away because I know everybody getting angry. They're getting upset. They got hurt, but they don't want to leave the person because they love them. Even though that other person clearly hates your guts and everything about you. Still don't understand how that works. Does it remind you of the relationship with your parents? They hated you too, so you think that's love? I don't know. I'm not a real doctor or teacher. Matter of fact, I might not even be a real person. But leaving is my personal favorite because then it's all over with. Like the relationship over with, I'm over you, you over there. It's great for everybody involved. I get to move on with my life and find some happiness. You get to... Go find another victim, I guess, or go get hit by a bus. Who really cares? So the lesson in today's class, <sighs> look, if it's bad, leave. Because I don't know what y'all be, be trying to fix. You be working on it. Look, relationship ain't supposed to be work. You work 40 hours a week. What you you want to go extra work when you go? Y'all niggas is nuts. Couldn't be me. How you cut this camera off? Mm -hmm. That's the end of the video song. All right, bye.